nagging feeling. You might have heard someone say that they had a nagging feeling, the feeling that there was something they forgot, or perhaps that something bad was going to happen. I have this nagging feeling that we forgot something at home. Your partner might say while driving to the airport. Maybe you're chatting with your best friend. I have this nagging feeling that getting married to him isn't the best decision. Those dark clouds. Give me the nagging feeling that we'll be caught in a rainstorm. You might say to your friends during a hike. As you can tell, a nagging feeling is an idea, notion, or suspicion in your mind, usually because you think you've neglected something or something negative might happen. You may also experience a nagging feeling if there's something you didn't do, but should or want to, such as exercise, finish your homework, or call your mom. The origin of the idiom "nagging feeling" isn't entirely clear, but the origin of the word "nag" and thus Nagging is very clear. Nag originated in the early 1800s from the Scandinavian or Low German word for gnaw. Gnaw, meaning to chew away at something, like a dog gnawing at a bone. Thus. It's easy to imagine why to nag has come to mean the act of constantly chewing or chipping away at someone with your words. If you nag someone, you are repeatedly asking someone to do something, which they do not do. So you continue your nagging. Leading both people to be annoyed. Accordingly, a nagging feeling is a notion, an inkling that something is amiss, something is forgotten, and your mind won't let it go until you've uncovered what it is or taken steps to prevent something unpleasant from happening. Then again, there are people with certain personality types that never experience a nagging feeling. These are the type of people who can drop their passports on the floor at the airport and not realize it until a stranger picks it up and returns it to them. These are the type of people. Who can enjoy junk food and not worry about the health consequences, or feel bad about it the next day? You may not want to be one of these people, but you probably don't want to be the opposite either. The type of person who constantly experiences multiple nagging feelings. And always worries about things, large and small. Obviously, you want to be a balanced person to live a balanced life. Equilibrium is what nature tends to, and we should strive for it too. If you make a daily to-do checklist, you'll be able to avoid. That nagging feeling that you forgot something, your mom might be advising you. Your dad 
might be talking to you about your new car. I have a nagging feeling that something is wrong with it. Why was it so cheap? I have a nagging feeling that something bad is about to happen. You might say to your friends after sneaking onto the roof of a building. So, if you are ever bothered by the idea, the thought that you may have forgotten something, or the feeling, the suspicion that something dreadful is going to happen, don't ignore that nagging feeling.